A woman in India is given a lot of power and a lot of respect. And with open arms, we've been adopted and adapted to this country, Australia, which has empowered women and given us so many business coaching, therapy, marketing. We do quite a lot of things. And we have a lot of free events, free trainings, free coaching, free sessions. So please take advantage of it. If you're someone who thinks you can benefit, please come see me or talk to me afterwards. Her love, her loneliness, her suffering, and her pride. The angel asked, so she's a perfect being? The Lord replied, no. She has just one drawback. She often forgets her worth. So ladies, don't forget your worth. This, and he's received several awards, obviously. He represents the best of the Indian diaspora. To his credit, go two Punjabi poetry books, Lachit Dar Pani, Te Falsafai Zindagi. I would love to read that. He has compiled three historical coffee table books, success stories of Indo-Australians, and then challenges, opportunities, and successes. And of course, now this third book, Inspiring Indo-Australian Women Who Made a Difference, and the women who uh, migrated here since 1950. What a tribute to Indian women. And during the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Walia Saab had the honor of carrying the Olympic torch from Greenacre. And, and he's been a newsreader. He's competed well with me, <laughs> with Punjabi radios and also with SBS Punjabi, which is a great credit part. He doesn't stop there. He was also a federal, uh, he competed for federal elections from Mitchell in 2004 as a Labour candidate, founder of a uh, life member of GOPIO, Global Organization for People of Indian Origin, and um, currently the international coordinator of uh, Oceania region of GOPIO uh, International. And you've been helping underprivileged children in India, which is a great honor. That's something that really touches my heart. It pulls at a cord, cord string in the heart. And till now, uh, Harry Valia has helped 10,000, 10,000 underprivileged children in India. And <laughs> absolute honor. And little doubt that you received three lifetime achievements awards. By profession, he's a mechanical engineer, but he's a writer, he's a politician, and he's uplifted women. So, Valia Saab, we would like a few words from you, please. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome, Dr. S. John K. Raman, Council General of India, Jody McKay, National Chair, Australia India Business Council, and her husband, uh, Stephen, somewhere sitting in the audience. Melissa Montero, CEO of Community Migrant Source Centre, and her husband, Prakash Ji, Councillor Samir Pandey, Councillor Reena Jetri, Councillor Barbara Burton, Jay Ramanji, Dev Parsi Ji, Cassie Zain, Sarita Verma Usana representatives, Ia Green, founder of the Women Empowerment and Coaching. I especially I welcome story writers of this book, especially who have come from interstate guests and media for attending today's book launch. I would like to thank Osana Merriman for providing this hall for today's book launch. I would like to thank Kumar Birani Ji for accepting my request to act as an MC at my book launch today. Kumar Birani Ji has, known, has been known as a golden voice of our community. She has been a veteran TV anchor, broadcaster, and producer. 
Kumuji was the first Indian lady to present news on TV in Australia. Subsequently, she became executive producer of Hindi programs on SBS radio. Kumuji bears several prestigious international and Australian awards. She has also produced, written, acted in several stage plays. Kumuji is also an Australian DM ambassador. In the comfortable book, Inspiring Indo-Australian Women Who Made a Defense, I have tried to project and honor the successes of 50 women who have made a difference to themselves, people surrounding them, and world at large. Though I had a tough time dealing with some of the 50 women, <laughs> however, the result is rewarding. A woman is a full circle, hats off to them. These 50 inspiring women and 43 inspiring women in my earlier two publications are the heart of this book. When you read their stories, you will learn that they have really made a difference. This book is in continuation to my earlier two publications, Success Stories of indo Australians and Challenges, Opportunities and Successes. The objective of compiling these three coffee table books is to present and sketch the lives and history of indo Australians who migrated to Australia since 1950s from different fields highlighting the circle of their achievements. It is to create awareness for the future generations to understand our society and their place within it. So they develop a sense of their culture, skills, contributions, and achievements. About 200 years ago, migration from Indian subcontinent was of Indians as laborers, hawkers, cambriers, sugarcane cutters, luskers, and others. Presently, Indians comprise engineers, doctors, teachers, scientists, IT professionals, architects, and business persons successfully contributing to the Australian society. This book is dedicated to 75th Republic Day of India. In my day-to-day -day life, I have met with many admirable women who have and are changing the world, taking on challenges, are confident, effective leaders who can surpass fears and embrace self-assurance, who value innovation, stay positive, balance work of life, intervene and are achieving big goals. The world needs strong women as each time a woman stands, stands up for herself, she stands up for all women. As Maya Angelou quotes, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. And to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. My brief introduction in the beginning pages of the book includes some of the greatest and most powerful women in the history of India whom most of us have forgotten. This book also includes many interesting features, such as acknowledgments and appreciations of those persons who helped in shaping this book, celebration of the Republic Day of India at the Indian Consulate, Sydney. Young local heroes, there's beauty and power in unity, unity in diversity, Punjabi culture displayed at Mela Tiyanda in 2023, thank you Varun Tiwari and Kamal. Seniors activity in Sydney, namely Asha Foundation, Shri Om Care, Indian Seniors Group Hall and Australian Sikh Association Glenwood. And the last feature is 
women in fashion. In the end, I would like to thank Jody Mitte, National Chair of AIBC, for writing the back cover page. Thank you, Osanda Management again, Roshan Porter, Cassie Zhang, Tia Gurain, Sarita Verma, Sony Sodi, team members of Osanda for providing all the help for book launch. Thank you, Sony Sodi of Delhi Heights Restaurant for your excellent catering services. Thank you, Hajor Film of KH Brothers Films for making teasers for our third coffee table book, which you have just seen. He made teasers for our two earlier publications as well. Thank you. Thank you, Jaspreet Singh. Jaspreet, Jaspreet's concept is used in the design of the title page. Thank you, Vishal Kumar of Evergreen Memories for your photography. Thank you, Varun Tiwari and Vinod Tiwari of Friends World TV for your help. And thank you, Harinder Singh of Sanjay Vichar for all the help you are doing. I would also like to thank all the people who helped me in my research exploration of the 50 inspiring women like Indranil Bengal Heather, Astinder Chavlov, Melbourne, etc., etc., who I have included in this book. I am sure there are many more who go about quietly living their lives in this multicultural rich country. Thank you very much. And finally, I'm going to thank myself <laughs> for, for standing beside him as a powerful woman and helping him through the journey of three books that he has written. <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. Sorry for that, <laughs> Thank you, Kumud, and I too want to just pay tribute to your amazing contribution, and I love sharing the stage with you. Thank you, Kumud. Um, I start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, and I pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. Um, I also want to acknowledge our new Consul General, Dr. Janaka Raman, and tell you you are most welcome. And uh, for you to be here, I think this year is your third official function. And it's wonderful that you are here the day after Republic Day honouring women in our Indian Australian community. Um, the Consul General and I caught up during the week and I said to him, you have no idea what it's like to be the Consul General here and the number of events you are going to have to attend. Does everyone agree with that? Yes. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be there with, with you for most of them as well. The other two people who will be there with most of them is uh, Councillor Rena Jethi, I acknowledge you today, and Samir Pandey. Welcome, Samir, as well. It's great to see you. Um, I want to talk about Harry uh, shortly, uh, but I do want to first of all acknowledge the women who are in this book. Um, yes, I did write uh, the back page. But what's important are the women who are in this book, and I can tell you that Australia Post did deliver mine. So I've had plenty of time to read about all of you. Many of you I know, uh, but I've learned so much about your story. There are two things that stand out to me. The first is for those of you who have come to Australia as professional women, as women who are seeking a new life here, you have found the experience difficult. Difficult because you had to reinvent yourself, because who you were professionally wasn't necessarily acknowledged here. One of the uh, projects that I'm working on with the federal government is around mutual recognition of qualifications. So that when people who come here are experienced, uh, have uh, expertise in a potential field, they can be acknowledged here in Australia. The second thing that I got from this book was those women who are born here are so grateful to their family for the opportunity, so you're all nodding, the opportunity to be here. 
So for me, there is this amazing um, kind of fabric that has been uh, woven about those who are newly arrived and those uh, who were actually born here. So I acknowledge each and every one of you. I also uh, went through the book um, with my husband last night and you know, you are from, uh, your heritage is from Mumbai, Chennai, Delhi, Sri Lanka, Punjab, Gujarat, Kerala, Karnataka, Kolkata. Uh, you are radiologists and um, anaesthetists. You are community workers and volunteers. You're filmmakers and actors. You're academics and researchers. Uh, we've got doctors. We've got fashion designers, yoga devotees. Human resource, uh, those who work in human resources, small business owners and entrepreneurs, career coaches, lawyers, artists, uh, financial advisors, business coaches, musicians. I think we've got just about everything coming. <laughs> Except a politician, and we need to saw, see more women like Rena who are in <laughs> politics in this country. There's a challenge to all of you, although I would. Would I want you to do that or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Let's talk about that after. <clears throat> but anyway, I congratulate each and every one of you. And Harry has chosen you because of your achievements and because he knows you and he's just uh, you know, experienced so much of uh, your contribution. So can I just ask all of you to put your hands together for the amazing women who are in this book. And can I ask you to So uh, Harry uh, Valia G is a dear friend of mine, and when Harry asked me to write the back cover of this book, I was so um, so honoured, so privileged to actually have a say on Harry's work. All of us, I actually mentioned this to the CG during the week when we caught up, and I said, one person who you will always see is Harry. You will see him in his red turban. The whole room can be full and you will know where Harry is because he has his red turban and he has his camera. And uh, I can tell you uh, that when Harry walks into the room, and Harry will say this to you too, I look at him and, my, and my, my, my day is full of sunshine. Because Harry is a person who contributes so much to each and every one of us. He is humble, he is kind, he is compassionate, and he obviously has a lot of money that he can loan. So, <laughs> Harry, I will be coming for that. <laughs> But um, we owe you so much, Harry, we really do. We, you know, I value your friendship enormously, but you bring the community together, and that's what you've done with this book. You've highlighted the women who make a difference. You're a great champion for gender equality, and I sincerely thank you on behalf of every single woman in this room, so thank you. Now I think that um, all of you understand my love of textiles. So I've had a few people ask me about my sari today, so this is actually my saw silk with canvas stitch. But I have, uh, I would like, where's Manby? Manby. Manby, please come down. So I am going to acknowledge you, and I'm going to acknowledge Harry, so could you come up as well, Harry? So, um, as I said, you all know my love of textiles. So I returned from India uh, about a week and a half ago. I was over there for a month with my husband, Stephen. And uh, I have, um, would like to honor both of you, uh, one with um, a beautiful Bandani scarf and the other with uh, chicken curry. And I was in Lucknow and uh, I was in Gujarat. And so this is uh, to honor both of you and say thank you for the contribution you both make. Thank you so much. Because uh, we are so, so deeply lucky to have the two of you as our friends and as leaders in the community. So thank you. So I'm going to put this, if I may, Kumud, can I give this back to you? Should I tell them? You might as well get ready. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you both.
Thank so, oh, you. Uh, a quick photo. Hang on, we'll move over here if we may. One of our youngest and most dynamic Consul Generals of India. Please, sir. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Kumud, for your wonderful uh, comparing the day. And uh, Mr. Walia, the center of attraction for the day. <laughs> with this, you know, uh, chomness. Uh, one day he met me in my office and uh, he told me that everybody is asking why you are not changing. And you would see that for the last 20 years, this place has not changed. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I, I come to know that because of the 50 inspiring humans. <laughs> so the day goes like that. You are around with, uh, with women and you get nervous. I do get some nervous because I'm standing around a powerful uh, woman here. Uh, in the middle midst of all things, I would like to, you know, uh, thank uh, Ms. Jody uh, to to call me on stage to present uh, uh, a shawl to Mr. Walia. Thank you, thank you once again. Um, and also, you know, uh, sitting next to a councillor of this council, and also, you know, uh, I see uh, Mr. Sami here from the council. And you also recognize all the council members uh, from this uh, uh, this part of the suburb. And as you know, I am new to this place. Uh, it's been a month or so. I'm yet to meet uh, many of the uh, community leaders and you know our members in all walks of life. Um, I think I'll get more chance to uh, meet individually and get to know more. Uh, Mr. Walia, uh, so many things have been said you know about Walia. I don't know. I have to find some words. What new things I could add uh, into the dictionary of you know praise on uh, Walia? I think his charmness tells everything, you know, includes everything that he is so proud and uh, a very popular uh, person in the Indian community. And with his camera and red turban, has it's been you know uh, iconic, uh, iconic um, uh, uh, part of his you know kind of appendage uh, to him. Uh, everybody you know by his face and his, by, by his activities, by his contribution, and you know. Uh, as a council general, council general, I would like to thank him for his uh, for his contribution. One thing I would also thank him uh, before me, uh, the previous CG perhaps uh, requested, uh, well, yeah, why you don't you uh, present this book for the 75th in our Republic Day? I think he kindly agreed, and then we are here today to his his books. I once again thank him for his you know uh, gesture to accept this uh, this request and doing it uh, a favor. And it's a 75 years of Republic. It's a great thing, and it's coinciding with our you know presentation today. A uh, lot of speeches and a lot of presentations going on. I don't want to take more of your time, and I just want to say a few things you know on girl, child, and women. Uh, in the history, um, uh, used to be a time that girl child was not wanted in the family. There used to be a time girl child was not wanted to go on the roads. There used to be the time girl child is not accepted in the schools. There uh, used to be the time girl child's child was not, you know, uh, accepted going out of the district, out of the state, out of the country. The girl child was not wanted to be leading an organization, leading a country, leading anything. But things have changed. Now everything is is by them, and there is always a discrimination by the name of gender. And you all, these 50 inspiring women, give a big story for the aspiring young children and girls, how they can become a big, big, big person in the world and you know, defying all the odds in becoming a big successful person. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Walia. Uh, your contribution also adds to those steps where women can be more uh, successful uh, in the future. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for approaching me. Thank you. Great success to your book, may it sell well. Lots of copies at the back, we've said enough of the book, but there are copies on sale, and I'm sure you will all purchase one of the copies. Thank you.